And of course, there's one more hero who could not make it back here tonight because he is no longer with us. Right? You know who that is, right? Corey, our, our beautiful Corey. Corey is uh, not with us tonight, and he should be. And uh, we all miss him. He's become somewhat of a folk hero, I have to tell you. Who is with us is his beautiful wife and daughters and relatives, sister. Please, where are you? Where are they sitting? There they are. There's a lot of people. It's not easy to find people in this audience. It goes back further than you can see. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Great family. A great, incredible family. And he loved you a lot. And, uh, you know, his wife said something very beautiful. The, the public, a lot of people, all of us, a lot of people have been very generous. And she said, I'd rather have my husband. That's a good thing to say. That's a good thing to say. I'd rather have my husband. Corey Comparator was an incredible husband and father, a devout Christian, a veteran, and a proud former fire chief, very respected within the town. Everybody knew him. Few men volunteered to run into fires, but Corey was one of those who did. He ran into fires. I spoke to people that were with This guy would do anything. He was brave, right? Brave guy like you. And uh, he was also a protector who put his life on the line for others, and he loved doing it. And when the sound of gunshots pierced the air on that July evening, Corey leapt into the fire one more time. In his last seconds of this earth, he threw himself on the top of his wife and daughters. He didn't want them hurt. He threw himself. He said he knew what was happening. He didn't want them hurt. And he was hit hard. He was hit hard. And he gave his life to shield their lives. Every father and husband in America hopes that if the time came, we would have what Corey had. Tremendous courage, tremendous guts. And he wanted to protect his family. And he did protect his family. At this time, it is 6-11, 12 weeks to the minute that the shooting began. I would like to ask everyone to join me in a moment of silence.